Yo, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go over why I spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars invested in my mentor, Kent Clothier. Um, and this, I'm going to go over why I did it. What are the lessons I learned so that you can take away these lessons without having to pay it and what I'm going to do about it to 10 X my business and also increase the level, the happiness levels of my personal life, which is really the most important thing. We do this as a lifestyle thing. And so I'm going to go over all that in these next couple minutes here. So stay tuned. So for some context here, Kent Clothier, um, he's been a real estate investor and kind of a guru, but actually he's way more than that in the real estate investing space, wholesale space for a very long time. His family, which is REI, has a company called REI Nation, which is massive. They're in probably six or eight markets. They do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of deals every single year of turnkey real estate. Started as a wholesaler um, and then became this conglomerate of real estate management, uh, property management, flips, wholesale, you name it, they do it. He also has a thing called the boardroom, which is a mastermind that they uh, mentor students and bring amazing people to room together, all about real estate investing and stuff. So Kent is, for those of you who don't know him, you can Google him, YouTube him, check out his website and stuff, just so you get familiar if you want. But he is very qualified and he is someone who I respect a lot. And he's we've been friends and kind of known him for years. He got me into masterminds and kind of got me into rooms around very heavy hitters at a young age. So I respect that a lot about him. And something oh, almost fell here. Ooh, almost fell. Hey. <laughs> so something I learned too about him is um, he's just a giver. So every time I look for a mentor, I look for someone who is 10x ahead of me. And Kent came into mind. I would met in Fort Lauderdale, one of his masterminds. We talked and then we said, all right, let's do this. So we set up a day that I flew to San Diego to his office, which you're going to see behind the scenes here throughout the video. And um, I'm from Miami, flew to San Diego five and a half hours to meet with him in his office for about six or seven hours. OK, we were in his office. We had lunch and all this stuff. And the topic of conversation was basically how can I 10x my business? Very simple. Um, and the number I have in mind is $10 million. Although we, that's not a complete 10 X cause we did, um, uh, more than a million dollars last year. And I just say, how can I get to 10 million in less than three years? That was my goal. Okay. That's the, literally the topic of conversation. So we start going over all these things and my main business is wholesale. So if you don't know, wholesaling is finding a distressed property, getting under contract and selling it. So we talk about wholesaling and how to grow the team. So this is my team right now. You know, we got six or seven salespeople plus dispositions people, um, some virtual assistants and admin and all. And the goal was how do I maximize my team? What am I doing on my team correctly? How can I optimize it? So we can go from 3 million to 10 million really, really fast. And that was my goal of the conversation. And I'm going to share with you the lessons learned. Lesson number one, always be tracking how effective, how optimized and how efficient your team is in percentages. What do I mean by this? The big number that came up a lot for us was contract to close ratio. So on average, we were getting 30 contracts per month, 30 deals signed per month with, with homeowners. But the problem is we were only closing from eight to 10 of those every month. So that means that about 70% of the time, you have that right, about 70% of the time, we were not closing deals. We were just getting contracts and they were not turning into dollars. So essentially that percentage was 70% inefficient. And that is something that I have to keep on top of mind as a CEO and the leader of the company is, Hey, Raul, your job, or you listening to this, if you're the CEO of your company, your job is to get those efficient percent, those, those percentages as efficient as possible. So your team can make money on everything they do. Because right now we're only making money on 30% of the things we do. That is mind blowing. Another lesson I learned, lesson number two, was that the difference between the person who achieves their hairy, big, audacious goals, the BHAGs or how they call it, the goals that are huge, right? The goals that are 10 million, 100 million, a billion, 5 billion, whatever. The difference between the people who achieve those and don't is one word, a plan. So it really brings me centered to 
and it brings me a lot of comfort to, okay, I can do this. I just need the plan. And the plan has to be as detailed as a monthly, weekly activity that you can track and you can do to hit your goal. So if your goal's $100 million, create that plan in a certain amount of time, let's say it's 20 years, then break that down into monthly targets, quarterly targets, and actually write that down somewhere on a Google document, on a chart, on your board, whatever, write it down so you can achieve it. That is the difference. Lastly, lesson number three, and it might sound cliche, but do not get distracted. Do not chase shiny objects. Stabilize your income to the point that you are excited and then you can move on to different passion projects. So as entrepreneurs or as people who are starting businesses or somebody who's just hungry for money, someone who's just hungry like me when I was starting, I was just hungry, right? Living in my mom's house and I wanted to buy Porsche. I wanted to move out to a nice condo and things. You know, I was 21 years old. Yeah, I just was hungry for money. I was just hungry to, to grow. And all of us who are hungry to grow, we might get distracted on different things, right? I got this wholesale business. I got a fix and flip business. I got these things that are making me good money. And then, you know, when I come up with ideas for different things, he's like, man, just stay focused. Like, if you want to grow this business to 10 million within three years, then you need to stay hyper focused. Once that is done and once that is optimized and what is once that is perfectly predictable, then and only then can you move on to a different passion project. So stay focused. That's a big one. Anyways, I'm Raul Balufe. Thank you guys for watching this. Uh, if you don't know who I am, um, I'm a wholesaler, real estate investor, fix and flip, wrap, buy and hold, doing Airbnbs. And uh, I'm in Miami, Florida, and have this channel really just to help people do the same, help people grow and um, answer some questions. So if you like what you saw, please check me out on RaulBalufe.com. Like, subscribe, or comment what was your favorite uh, part of this video, or comment what is your best advice that a mentor has given you. I'm very curious to see. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching. You can also check my podcast out, Flipping Miami, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.